While the Taliban sleep, British troops move in to confront them. Darkness, silence, and surprise are the soldiers' friends. But this is Taliban territory. It's deadly. Managed to locate an enemy firing point. So the aim is to tempt the Taliban to attack. It's hours before they say hello. Towards Kira for 513. The troops don't fire back. They won't give away their position. The Taliban try again. Now the troops know where they are. The silence is about to be shattered. A rocket propelled grenade whizzes overhead. RPG. Jesus. Did you see the angle the RPG came from? Well, the Taliban have taken the bait and been drawn into the trap and into a firefight. There are three groups in this area, and the troops are hoping that they will all be drawn in because they're confident they have the firepower to win. Guns are on target now. British guns, then mortars, hit the Taliban positions. The Taliban are outgunned, but clever. Very strong, but they've, they've certainly been decreased over the last couple of weeks. In the last four weeks, we've seen them move from probably 40-odd fighters down to... We're probably talking six to ten fighters today. Then silence. The troops move forward slowly to get closer to the Taliban. The fighting shifts from desert to almost jungle warfare. This is the green zone that Britain is trying to cultivate and keep from the Taliban. But they're here. <laughs> The Taliban are very close, 100 yards, maybe less. Their rocket fire, very accurate. Uh, April 5-7, a converged danger close. A the Taliban the shoot, five five then scoot. The troops move again. This is chess with weapons. These cornfields provide the perfect cover for the troops. The problem is they also provide the perfect cover for the Taliban. And we've just heard another group of them is ready to attack. The Helmand campaign is a slog, often mired in stalemate. The troops battling to clear ground for redevelopment that is painfully slow. And it, it is tangible things that we need to start delivering. We're about to, um, we've paid for a transformer to be put in that will deliver electricity to another 430 homes. The troops return safely. They've killed one fighter and injured another. But three of their battle group have been killed in a week. You've got a job to do, so you, you, you reflect on that and then you put it to one side and we'll do our grieving later when we get back to the UK. Cut! They prepare for another battle. Nearly every patrol from the Inkerman base has been attacked. Cut! War here not of hidden bombs, but of direct fire. Nine soldiers from this base have been killed in just over a year. Not forgotten, and probably not the last. Bill Neely, ITV News, Forward Base, Inkerman.